In this video we show how to configure Iris uh, to talk with an open info man and share its directory of health workers. What you do is you start with going to the configure system page of your Iris system and you'll see a link called care services discovery. This is where all the um, functionality is um, for the caching and building of the data export. You may need to modify your configure.html to add this link in to your site customization if it isn't already there. Clicking on this link, we see we have um, two sections. We have the full CSD document and the individual CSD document. Um, in this case, under the individual CSD document, we only have one link. That's because in, in this instance of Iris, we're only sharing the health worker data. If we look at the default demo site, we see that we again have our CS full CSD document, which brings together uh, several individual CSD documents. Here we have the same, we have CSD managed default, which has the information on the health workers, but you also see that we have facility information um, that's being shared as well as the geographic information, such as the country, the region, the district, and the county. Uh, the, the health worker information is stored in the CSD provider directory. The facility information is stored in the CSD facility directory. And then the geographic information is stored in the CSD organizational directory. What you'd want to do is um, either individually Update, zoom in. Either you'd want to individually update each of these documents by clicking on the update the CSD cache, or you can update the full document um, by clicking update all enabled CSD caches. Um, if you decide for some reason that you don't want to share the the facility data, for example, in your instance, um, you can come in and disable the, the CSD cache for facility data. You would do this if, for example, you were pooling data from facility information from another system, uh, such as DHIS2 or resource map, uh, and you didn't want to use the, to share out the facility information while you're using an IRIS. Getting back to our, our single instance, um, Here's our health worker information for Liberia. We can start updating the CSD cache. And you can see that it's running through all of the person records um, to update that cache. If you want to see what's happening in the back end, um, we can go into a terminal. select the database that we want to use, show tables. We see that there is a table called uh, CSD cache. This is where all the data for uh, that we're exporting from Iris in CSD is stored. So we can take a look at what this looks like. So selecting one record, see that there's four, five columns. There's the record that we are um, exporting. In this case, it's person record 10025. The relationship on which we're exporting from, there's a, a relationship in our instance called CSD Manage Library that has all the data that we wish to export. The transform, uh, this is just a link to the transform that we use to transform the um, the exported relationship from um, the iris form relationship 
export into CSV. There's a last modified time, which gives us the time that uh, any of the forms in the relationship for person 10,025 have changed. So whether it's the person record itself or a um, uh, the or one of the child forms. Finally, there's the XML entry. This is the actual data that we are exporting to CSV. And that's what looks like this. Um, in any case, what you're doing, we're, we're building this cache as we're adding records to that cache table. Um, once those records are in the cache table, we can go into our open info man and um, start updating, uh, pulling in that data into the open info man. So the first thing that we'd want to do is we would want to um, go into our CSV endpoints and um, let's start off by creating a blank directory. We are doing this for the first time, so we'll call it our, uh, sorry, um, we go into register and pull remote service directory. So from the open InfoMan's perspective, Iris is a remote service directory. It's a remote server that has a directory of health worker or health facility information. So what we want to do is we want to add a new basic, uh, new service using basic authorization. So let's call this service my demo. Um, we need the URL. The URL is the one thing that we need to um, get from the the IRIS system, so let's go back to the configure system for just a second. Um, and you will see that right here we have something called the scope endpoint. Um, it's this URL that we need to copy and paste into um, the box that says URL. The username can be any username in Iris that has access to, has administrative rights. We submit that, and we now have my demo as a registered service directory. Click on my demo. First thing that we want to do is we need and we need to only do this once in the setup is to create the cache. It's a place to store that data that creates a a document in this in the open info man to store all the data from Iris. Right now, if we get that local cache, you'll see that it has an organization directory, a service directory, a facility directory, and a provider directory, but that's empty um, because we haven't pulled in any of the information. So if we what we want to do now is we update the local cache. Uh, um, but the first thing we want to do is empty the local cache. There's a slight bug there, sorry about that. Now we should be able to update the local cache um, of my demo. wait. There's a fairly large amount of data that's getting sent, so it might take some time. And now when we go back into my demo and get the local cache, it'll output the XML document, which shows all of the information that we had before. Um, this was the record we saw in the cache table. Um, and you can see, for example, um, that this is from the IRIS form person number 10,025, and it comes from uh, this uh, site. And that's it. Um, if you want, you can also see 
if we go back to the home of the open info man you click on my demo here on this front tab you can also see that same information so it's just a, a quicker way of getting access to that information um, 